Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Euro Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. In today's video, basically, I was going to look at some of the best budget options for this game. However, because of the amount of comments on my previous video, you know, I mentioned that um, comment down below the best uh, budget options that you know of. So I will combine your information with my information, do the research and combine it together and create a video for it and give you guys shout outs. There is so many comments to go through. Um, there is so many players to look at. So I thought instead of me rushing it and just creating a video for the sake of it, I thought, let me take a little bit of a time to kind of create a proper video looking at stats as well to back those players and give you guys a better shout out with your recommendations, okay? So I'm gonna delay that until Tuesday because I'm just gonna take uh, a couple of days off and enjoy the weekend because it's sunny in England. Um, but in today's video, it is an important one and that is the match day one strategies. And there is tons of strategies for match day one. So instead of me going through the rules or something like that, I want to kind of like show you guys on another game on how the substitute works and changing your captain works um, for every single deadline, okay? I hope you guys will appreciate that. It's better for me to look at those comments um, properly instead of me rushing it. I think that might be better and added stats into the video is gonna definitely help us out to kind of figure out which players are good enough. I really wanna do that before the friendly starts. I think one or two will start on a Tuesday but then we have some players to kind of watch out for in the friendlies and we can come back to the video, do an update version before the deadline, okay? I hope you will enjoy that. But yeah, if you are new to the channel, you guys know what to do, subscribe. And always, always drop a like on the video. Let's see if this video can get up to about 150 likes. That will be fantastic. Here we go. So the captain in this game is very important. And for us, we need to make sure and we need to look at these fixtures. We need to look at the dates as well. So let me give you guys a little example. Let's just say I keep Yilmaz, I captain him for the first game. It basically gives me another shot at a captain, okay? He plays up to 60 minutes as a scenario, gets only two points because he played up to 60 minutes. You know, you've got your captain on him, it doubles it up to four, you know, that's a blank, right? You don't want only two points to double up. You want like eight to 10 and higher points, right? So you can get more points. And this just gives you basically another shot at the captain. Let's just say, as an example, Yelma scores two goals, right? Wins a penalty as well. That is like over 10 points. Then I'm done. I'm happy with my captain return. I keep my captain on Yelmaz. And there we go. However, if that player blanks, it just gives you another shot on another day. So as you can see, substitute window opens. So that means you can switch your captain around. But when you do that, let's just say Yilmaz got me two, it doubles up to four, right? I remove it from Yilmaz. So we go to two points instead of four because you're removing the captain option to another player. And you're giving yourself another shot. Let's just say you got Gareth Bell here or Puki. You go ahead, you know what? Yilmaz didn't do well. I'm going to switch my captain. Once the substitute window opens, I'm going to put it on Puki. Puki goes ahead and scores two goals, let's just say, against Denmark. And there we go. You got a fantastic return. You keep that captain there. And there we go. You got a return. That's what we are trying to do. We're trying to have a lot of captain options so we can get those big returns. Now, as for my team, for now, you know, I've got Belgian players. I probably will go for Lukaku or Kevin De Bruyne. Here, I'll probably go for Harry Kane or Memphis Depay if I bring him in. Uh, if that doesn't work, I'm just going to hope that Lewandowski is going to do well. Maybe Ferran Torres against Sweden. Then I'm like, oh God, I didn't get any captain returns. I need the points. And there we go. In the final day, I got Ronaldo. But I think because of the amount of days, I think we'll be able to get a decent amount of returns from my captains before we go all the way to the last fixtures. 
because this is split up and we've got what one two three four five captain chances that is a decent amount and i doubt that it will go to the final day but we will see that has happened before so yeah just gonna have a little bit of a luck along the way there could be a scenario where i don't know it gets up to here you got Lewandowski, he scores a goal. I don't know, he gives you like six points or seven points or something, and you're not happy with it. You can take that risk. However, if I get to this stage where there's only one more sets of fixtures left on another day, if I get any kind of return, like six points or seven points, I probably will keep and not risk it on another final day because you just never know. So you're just going to make those decisions at that time. So now what I'm going to do is basically give you guys a proper example of the captain strategies. Uh, this is from the Champions League fantasy football game. Um, I'm going to be looking at the semi-final second leg. There are two fixtures on two different days. So that means I have two chances on a captain return. Okay. So as you can see, uh, Manchester City versus PSG uh, for the first game, I captained Kevin De Bruyne. He only returned me three points. You know, you double that up with the captain option. Goes up to six, right? That's not a return. So basically what I did in the substitute uh, deadline, I removed my captain off him. So he went back to three points. And basically, I look at the Chelsea versus Real Madrid game. I got a player from that uh, fixture. I put my captain on Mason Mount to give myself another shot at a captain return. And as you can see, Mason Mount returned. Uh, he got me seven points. So this is the main big strategy. For the Euro fantasy football, for match day one, we got one, two, three, four, five days of trying our best to get a big captain return for our teams. Now here is another example uh, of the captain strategy. I think it's very important that we know this. I know some people do, but I want to go through it again, just in case. Uh, as you can see, this was my team. And Haaland. Haaland scored two goals. Uh, let's just go back. What was it? The round of, round of 16s, right? I think it was first leg? No, uh, second leg. There we go. Second leg here. So, think of this fixture being Turkey versus Italy, right? You bring in a player, let's just say as an example, Yilmaz, and he does what Haaland does, uh, he scores two goals, and yeah, that's what happens in this game. Um, I bought in players from each kind of day. You know, I got uh, Dortmund players, uh, Barcelona players, and here as well, Manchester City players. So basically, it just gives me more captain options if my uh, captain blanks in the first set of fixtures, you know, and, and, and so on. But this time, the first choice or captain option didn't blank. This time, Haaland scored two goals. That's 11 points. I will take that any day for a captain return. And there we go. Just basically, that is the strategy, guys. I wouldn't risk on a player that's got you 10 points to try and get in 15 points. I, I think that's just too much. I, I think you've got to look at points, like how much points that you want. For me, if it's around six or seven points, um, I might switch, but it all depends on how many days left, right? Um, let's just say Haaland only scored one goal. He only got me six points. I might actually uh, switch that and try my luck on another player. However, it doesn't always go your way and most of the times they don't really return. So when your player does return around eight to nine points, keep your captain on that player. Trust me. Let's just have a quick look at the substitutes. It's very important that we have players that are playing. That's why we're looking at the budget options. That's why we're looking at players that actually plays. We don't want players that is not playing or hasn't got the chance to play. We want every single player that we are picking to play because that's going to give us more chances to actually return some points so let me give you guys another example here like as you can see 
in the first game, so um, Dortmund versus Seville, okay, I had um, Haaland in my team and I had Hummers in my team, okay. Um, he only bought me two points, okay, I kept him on my team, but like nearer to the end, I had a Atletico Madrid defender. I thought, you know what, I'm going to take a little bit of a risk. The lowest player was Hummels. I thought, okay, cool. I've got this player on my bench that hasn't played yet and he's going to play. I'm going to remove Hummels. So that would take out two uh, points from your total amount of points that you got for that match day. And I basically gave myself another chance on a player. But this time, it didn't work out well. It gave me a minus one. So I lost the couple of points there. So... It's very, very important as well to have players that actually starts and has a really good chance to play um, a lot of minutes. If you're bringing in substitutes that hasn't got the chance to play, then you're just basically, you, you, you're not helping your team. Because let's just say Yilmaz only gets me one point, you know. He plays up to 60, he gets a yellow card, that's one point. And I got Fran Torres, right? Okay. Um, every other player returned really good. Um, Yilmaz is the only player that only returned me one point. Well, that's not enough. And who am I going to substitute off? Well, it's going to be the lowest point earner. So I will just do this and I'll remove him. Yeah, one minus one point is okay. It just gives me another chance of another player to do well. And there we go. Okay. That's how we're going to play it. That's how we're going to uh, play the game. This game, you've got to be on it. You've got to be on it. Uh, I'm not going to be creating a video for every single substitution window. I will be posting um, my, my team on my Twitter account. So please do follow me there. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is basically making videos for every single match day until the end. Okay, so that is that is the idea. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be covering every single uh, fixtures here: match day one, two, three, round of sixteen, quarterfinals, uh, semifinals, and the final. I'm going to be creating videos for every single one of them. Uh, I might be creating additional videos for it as well along the way. And uh, the the schedule is basically to get so to do a video before this deadline. Um, and then see what happens and get to like Monday and post my video there or post my video on a Tuesday as to prepare for match day two. I'm not going to wait until this is finished because the next match day is just after those fixtures. So I'm going to kind of like do it one uh, day before. So just want to let you guys know that. So I will be covering every single thing and I'm just going to hope that I do well. But for me, I want to play the game, I want to enjoy it, and uh, if I could help one or two people out there, that is the goal of this channel. Anyways guys, all you got to do to help me out, to support the channel, is just to subscribe if you haven't already, and drop a like on the video as it helps my channel out a lot. I will be going through this again, and uh, fixing my team up for my second draft in the next week, okay? Thank you so much for joining. Uh, my next video will be looking at the best budget options, so I'll go through the, uh, the comments on my previous video, and I'll do a lot of shout outs, and yeah, hopefully that will be good. So yeah, that is pretty much it guys, ah, have a good weekend, and I'll see you guys next time, see ya.